a seven-year-old child was referred to us with uh, suspected uh, pancreatitis and uh, diagnosed pancreatitis to rule out uh, biliary pancreatitis and a uh, few changes of cholestasis and uh, symptoms of mild cholangitis. So here we are seeing a pre papillary portion of the bile duct with dilatation and small imaging microliths floating within. Uh, the youngest child we have done so far is a seven-month-old baby. Uh, it's technically challenging, but it's possible to do it. Uh, EUS, uh, as you can see here, is a large lymph node, pericolidocal, and here you can see the pancreatic duct and a sort of a variant of a colidocal cyst. This is what I suspect initially, and there you can see abrupt uh, saculated uh, bile duct in the prepapillary portion with a long common channel, and then dilated upper CBD. Uh, as a seven-year-old child, uh, this is bound to be a, a congenital biliary ana anomaly rather than any obstructive lesion leading to dilatation of the bile duct. So here we see uh, changes of cholesterosis and some sludge. You can see dilated CBD, you see the pancreatic duct and the common channel there perhaps with uh, so uh, a proper evaluation with EUS is feasible. You can see a layer of sludge and small stones. You see the pancreatic duct uh, bifurcating in the head region, probably the accessory duct uh, traversing in a little abnormal way uh, into the uh, into the uh, pancreatic head. So this may have implications on on some evidence of uh, pancreatic ductal anomaly with uh, dilated uh, common channel, ultimately leading to pancreatitis and early cholestatic symptoms. So here we can see dilated, massively dilated system. You can actually see dilatation right up to the, the common hepatic duct as well as the right and the left main duct. And you can see the wide bifurcation of the pancreatic duct in the head region. So I hope you can appreciate that this is the kind of anatomical delineation which is possible uh, on, on a detailed EUS evaluation. And this is something which uh, uh, slowly more and more centers are uh, appreciating. I personally reckon that this kind of anomaly uh, ductal uh, systems um, can be diagnosed fairly easily with uh, endoscopic ultrasound. Uh, we know that there is pathology and patient has pancreatitis and cholangitis. Uh, therefore, an intervention is imminent. Uh, we will s properly evaluate the gallbladder as well as the cystic duct. You can see dilated cystic duct as well distended cystic duct and uh, gallbladder is also full of ecogenic bile and you can see uh, the left ductal system, the right ductal system and the common hepatic duct. So a very detailed evaluation uh, of the biliary system is possible uh, and you see the portal vein as well. No obvious mass lesion seen. Uh, we will proceed with uh, evaluation of the pancreatic uh, body. We are seeing right now at the gallbladder at 12 o'clock position. We are still in the duodenum. It's so very careful uh, prepapillary evaluation uh, is important in such situation. Uh, because of the size of the scope and the small anatomy of the duodenum, uh, ideal cross-section of intra ampullary portion sometimes may not be possible uh, because there is a risk of perforation in small children with, uh, with a large radial echoendoscope. But it is still technically feasible to have a fair idea of what we are dealing with. Uh, and some cross-section we felt this could be part of the dilated pancreatic duct and you can see the pancreatic duct being chased now. So I am chasing the pancreatic duct. Uh, and uh, this is something which we have learned over the last uh, 14 years that uh, anything related to bile duct or the pancreatic duct, uh, there is a very high chance that we will find 
uh, very accurate information. Now, for those who are beginning EUS, uh, this is how gallbladder sludge would appear. Very bright, small specks would uh, uh, be probably imaging uh, microliths in the gallbladder. So, we are withdrawing the scope. We are going into the body of the pancreas here. And you can see that uh, uh, pancreatic body, you can see with the duct uh, running inside from the stomach, how well this anatomy can be evaluated right from the genu. You can see the duct curling up, uh, going into the body of the pancreas. So, a very accurate assessment, uh, slightly prominent duct 4 mm for a child of 7 years old, uh, definitely uh, a pathological uh, dilatation or prominence. In view of these findings, after evaluation on EUS, we have a fairly good roadmap, so we will minimize our contrast injection. And uh, you can see the dilated system from the radial scope. Uh, you can see the anatomy in the mediastinum. And then we proceeded with ERCP after EUS evaluation. So this is uh, normal looking ampulla in a seven year old child. Uh, we prefer to use uh, uh, sphincter tome with a guide wire uh, for our initial cannulation as always. Um, we do have pediatric ERCP scope with us. So as and when is needed, we do use pediatric ERC ERCP duodenoscope. You can see dilated system, and uh, you can see that uh, this is a variant of a colidocal cyst. You can see the IHBR is not at all dilated. So the problem here is the sludge and small stones in the prepapillary portion leading to pancreatitis. So we will do bilious sphincterotomy, and you'll see sudden gush of small stones and uh, sludge which we saw in the lower bile duct or the prepapillary portion of the bile duct or in the common channel. And uh, very gentle, you can see all these small uh, concrements and small sludge particles are flowing out of the ampule after a biliary sphincterotomy. Uh, we prefer uh, to be very gentle in uh, this area, especially in children. You can see a lot of sludge has started flowing out which explains the patient's biliary and pancreatic symptoms. So in such situation, we'll go ahead and at least sweep the bile duct once with a stone extraction balloon catheter without uh, inflating too much uh, in order to not damage the common channel and the pancreatic duct uh, to precipitate more severe attack of pancreatitis. So once we have the infected bile and uh, sludge draining out. We will leave a 7 French double pigtail stent here now for drainage and then uh, evaluate this patient uh, for a definitive, a definitive uh, colidocal cyst excision uh, after this procedure. So again in children, EUS, ERCP interface, endotherapy interface is as uh, poignantly applicable than what we see uh, in adults as well. And there was a little bit of oozing with the passage of the balloon. So we are injecting on the left of the stent and the apex of the sphincterotomy to make sure there is complete hemostasis. Uh, 